What's going on, Aces? Welcome back to the channel. I don't know if you guys have heard about the fight that happened between Erica Mena and Spice recently, but people are calling for Erica Mena to get fired, okay, because of what she said. And rightfully so. Let's go ahead and get into it. So a recent episode of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta showed an argument between the reality stars Erica Mena and the dance hall queen Spice. Now, as the VH1 show is known for its drama and fights, which is true, the debacle between the co-stars in included a racial slur, which is causing much backlash against Erica Mena. So during the confrontation, Spice claimed that, Mer <laughs> that Erica Mena's oldest son doesn't like his own mother. So in a response, Erica Mena uh, flipped the table, which she did in anger, and she wished her death and called her a racial slur. She says, this B should have died, screamed Mena, referring to Spice's health scare last year. In response, Spice yelled, your son hates you B, to which Mena replied, you monkey, you effing blue monkey. The clip immediately took the internet by storm as viewers had much to say about the historically rooted racial slur used to insult black people. Spice also received backlash for men mentioning Mena's child, but majority of the smoke was for the TV personality. So following the clip going viral, Spice took to her Instagram to address her remark about Mena's son. And she used a, a clip from another episode to try to prove her point. Erica's oldest son is from a previous relationship and she also shares two small children with reality star Safari. Kids are off limits, right? But I guess it's only when I ask, cause where's the same energy when Scrappy and Stevie J talked about this? Spice wrote, showing two separate disputes of Minna with Scrappy and Stevie J. But now I'm a monkey and I should have died on the table. Okay, Erica. The 35 year old has yet to address the backlash she received for calling Spice a monkey. In related news, um, Minna and the two other hip hop stars were arrested and I just made a video about that um, last week in Fulton County, Georgia, following an alleged violent um, altercation. So you guys can check that out if you'd like. So let me just go ahead and say this, right? I don't think that, um, that what Spice said warrants Mena's use of a racial slur. Like you should never, ever turn to racial slurs, okay? Like that's one. I don't care, you know, how hurt your feelings are, which I'm sure that, you know, Spice's remark cut Erica Mena to the white meat, okay? You could see it. You could see how just angry and upset she was uh, to the point where she flipped the table over, okay? Like Kate Michelle, you know, she's like, ooh, you know, she's shaking the tables. No, Erica flipped that mug like Teresa Judaish on, <laughs> on New Jersey Housewives, okay? That, 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 when, when someone can push you to the point of rage like that, one, you're letting someone else control you, okay? Two, she could have easily been like, girl, you don't know the relationship between my son and I, you know, and just left it at that, like you should be able to do as a grown woman, okay? Like as an adult, you should be able to control your emotions enough to not let people rattle you to the point where you're flipping tables and using racial slurs and all this mess. Three, um, Erica, you're a Latina on a on a mostly African-American cast and you have, you know, an audience that's, that's filled with mostly black people. So again, completely out of pocket. Okay. Like just completely unwarranted. Um, there's nothing that, that people can say or do to justify dehumanizing someone and calling them an animal. Like, period. I don't care what she said about, about your son. Now, was she right about what she said? No, because kids are off limits. And if Erica and her son have a strained relationship, and that's obviously, you know, a wound. But 
again, going back to, you know, what Erica said, this is not the first time that she said it. And not only that, it was, it was how much she repeated it. Like, um, you know, my fellow, um, YouTuber, DJ Richie Sky, he made a video and he said, you know, it wasn't just the fact that she said it like once, but no, she kept repeating it over and over and over again. And then, you know, like saying like, oh, you're a blue monkey and you, you know, should have, you know, passed away and just all this horrible vitriol. Like she was spitting fire mad. Okay. Like she was enraged. That was rage. Okay. That wasn't shade. That wasn't, you know, hurt feelings. That wasn't, you know, a good read. No. Erica Mena wanted, I mean, what she said what she wanted, right? Um, that that's scary. Like, I really need for her to go to therapy and see somebody about that. And again, I think that the fans are justified in calling for her to be fired because if if your fan base is largely black you know, black women, then you are a bigot. You're, you know, to me in my heart, if, you know, you pulled that out of how you really felt about Spice and those who look like her, you know what I mean? Like you're basically a guest in this arena and this community has supported you and Safari, right? And your children for so long. But for you to just automatically go to a racial slur, that's why when people say, you know, racist things and they blame it on, you know, whatever X, Y, Z, substance, alcohol, Roseanne was uh, blaming it on um, Adderall, I think. No. Or Ambien. That's what it was. Ambien. Um, I don't care what substance you're you're choosing to partake in. That does not make racial slurs come out your mouth unless they are deep seated in your heart, unless you truly believe that already. And she was spitting such hatred and vitriol towards Spice. You could just tell that she has felt that way for a very long time. I'm in agreement. I feel like she should probably lose her job over this because, you know, people have been dismissed for far less than dehumanizing language. And that's exactly what it is. Make no mistake. When you call someone an animal, especially another woman, then you're basically saying that they're subhuman. And that's been problematic because for a long time in this history of this country, you know, Black people were written into the Constitution as being three-fifths of a human being. So a lot of people still have that thought process and that ideology to this day. And you could see it come out on screen as plain as day. She felt like she had no problem um, saying that this woman should have been unalived and that she, you know, was not a human being. And that's the baseline of respect. If you can't look at somebody or, you know, respect them as a base level human being, then you have no business filming with them. You have no business working with them. You have no business being um, on the same cast as them, in my opinion. And it's unfortunate because her kids are half black. Like that's what makes, breaks my heart, right? Like she has all this hatred and, and bigotry toward Black people, and she doesn't see them as fully human, how is she going to treat her children? I mean, Spice might have, you know, she might have, there might have been some truth um, in what she said about her oldest son. I'm not saying that she was right to say it, but maybe that's why, you know, her oldest son doesn't like her because she doesn't view them as um, as human beings. I'm just, just speculating. It's just my two cents, my commentary. You guys drop down in the comments and let me know your thoughts. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will talk with you later. Take care, aces. Bye.